now, what I have provided with you guys is now what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, our number, our terms, all right, and then obviously our values of our sequence. So here's going to be our values, which we're going to you know say our n values, right? So here's our values of n. And then we're just going to look at our terms. So the first term, we get a value of 1. Second term, we get a value of 3. The third term, we get a value of 5. The fourth term, we get a value of 7. OK? So what we want to do is remember, what were we doing? How, remember, what we do is if I say a sub n, what we want to do is we want to figure out what is this um, rule. What is this formula that we have to plug in? Yes. Okay. Sure. All right. So let's take a look at it and see if that works. 2n minus 1. All right. And what we want to do is we want to see what is the relationship. Because remember, for each one of these terms, I have to plug it in for n, and then I am going to get the n, um, my n value, right? My a sub n, my n value. So if I plug in 1, in for n, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. If I do 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. 2n times 3, or sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So yes, your formula is going to be a sub n equals 2n minus 1. Yes, Kara? What is the difference between n and n? What do you mean with n and n and I pretty much mean like, it, this is like your, your ending term, like your Think of it, uh, this is like your a sub n. This is the same oh, thing. All right, but a sub n is your function. But for e remember, each one is determined. You could have a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 1. So what I'm saying is the n value for each, like this is, we just say n though, because it could, this is a sub 1, this is a sub 2, this is a sub 3, this is a sub 4. All right, so these are all your kind of values of your um, sequence at n. All right, and then these are your terms, and these are what you plug in for your n value to figure. Well, when I ask you for it, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, we're giving you guys a sequence to go ahead and find the formula.